Hi everybody, Pietro here. This is the second part of the video where we have been playing together on the chords of D minor and C major, improvising with the scales of C major using the five positions of the cage system and playing together. As I promised in that video, today's interactive backing track is going to contain also drums and bass so we're going to do the same exercise but with a complete rhythm section. For the drums we're going to use a fantastic app that I've been using a lot in the last few years when I practice by myself or when I play with my students. It's called Drum Genius. I've got it here on my telephone so i show you how it works. Here it is, <clears throat> Drum Genius. It contains hundreds of loops in different styles. You see there is a list list of styles here from jazz to uh, pop rock country funky etc i show you an example from the funky library this is how it sounds or another example I really love to play on these loops because they sound so real. They are actually taken from famous drummers, so they are examples from different songs. Let's go in the rock library. There are examples from Led Zeppelin, from ACDC, from Rolling Stones, etc. This is Immigrant Song, for example. So it really sounds great. It's not like a MIDI sounding uh, drum loop. Another example from Rage Against the Machine. Rules on Parade. But I mean, actually, what we want to do is not to play particular songs, but we can use these rhythms to do our interactive backing tracks, so we can use them to improvise on them, to use them as a, a rhythm section for our improvisation. Today, for today's interactive backing track, I chose to start with a very simple loop, which is this example 11 in the rock library. Uh, it sounds like this. very straightforward and simple but it's going to be perfect for our interactive backing track today. So if you're curious about this Drum Genius app I put a link in the description here below to their website if you want to check out full details. Now for the bass, if you have been watching some of my past videos you probably easily can guess who is going to play the bass for us today. <laughs> exactly, good guess. Gigi is going to play the bass. He has a fantastic micro bass. He plays a little bit like a, a guitar, but uh, it's going to work perfectly for our rhythm section together with the loop of Drum Genius. So before we really get started with our interactive backing track, uh, improvising on it, let's try once the two chords on this rhythm section. Today we can play the chords as we did in part one here in open position or if you prefer you can play them as power chords. complete chords but in this position in the middle of the fretboard or up here so we can choose where we prefer to play the chords along the backing track now let's try just the uh, first solution with open position or the power chords on the rhythm section. Let's start the drums first. Bass. Thank you. 
we're really ready to start to play together and improvise, let's do as we did in part one. We're going to play the pair of chords D minor C four times, once comping and once soloing. So we switch roles. I'll start from the soloing. So let's start the rhythm section first. Then when we go to the chords, you play the chords and I play the melody to begin with and then we start switching. Let's do as in part one, uh, one scale at the time, the five positions of the cage system from the beginning of the fretboard and then when we have used all of them one by one, we are free to go wherever we want along the fretboard. Uh, also, uh, you can choose whether to play with the pick or finger style. I'm going to alternate a little bit experiment playing with the pick or with my finger as you prefer i love to play finger style so i'll play some nice also finger style and maybe i'm going to also play something faster than i did in part one in part one we were playing mostly uh, quarter notes which were also play triplets or sixteenth notes. Okay, so I will do some movements that uh, maybe you're going to learn little by little in the following videos but you can try to start to imitate something do not force play what you feel go uh, to the speed that you are confident with okay but uh, start experimenting a little bit inside of these positions and also crossing from one to another when we are free to go wherever we want on the fretboard right so let's get started rhythm section first Base.
Okay, I think you really did a great job today, so I can't wait to meet you in the following Play With Me session. In the meanwhile, there is a very important thing that should be explained, which is uh, what's the relationship between chords and scales? What more chords would be available in the key of C major to choose to make chord progressions like the one that we have been playing on today? Or what happens if we change key, if we want to use another scale, what chords are available in other keys. All of these can be called harmonization and we will talk about this in the following lesson. It's linked in the description here below, so check that out. And then after that one we're going to be really ready to build many more examples like this first one and play together improvising and comping with different chord progressions. For today, thank you so much for watching, I hope you had fun. If you like this video, as usually, put a thumb, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time a new content is uploaded. Once again, thank you so much and see you next time. Ciao!